What's going on guys? Matt over here with Lethal Garage and it's come to a time where I think I need to start thinking about another car. And you're like, wait, wait, what do you mean another car? No, I don't mean get rid of the Lethal Camaro and get another car. I mean keep the Lethal Camaro and have another, sorry, I should say vehicle to start doing stuff to for the channel. Does that mean I'm gonna stop doing Camaro stuff? Oh, heck no. I have a new i4 coming in from a buddy who I'm gonna be doing all sorts of upgrades. I have another i, or an i6. <laughs> I'm fired. A V6 coming in, I'm gonna be doing upgrades to that. And I have a ton of people around me with V8s that have mods and upgrades coming that I'm gonna be doing on their car. But as far as upgrading this car, there's only a couple more things that I want to do. Um, Maybe there might be a couple things people can talk me into doing, but um, you guys know, there's some stylistic things that I still need to adjust on the car. I need to do the brakes and a couple other things, but that's it. But now, I wanna look on. Like, if I've kinda talked about this before a couple times. I know there's a lot of new people and I, I would never expect everyone to have watched all the videos I've uploaded to my channel. It's like 540 videos, good God. Um, but that being stated, um, I really set this channel up to be a helpful guide to show people that on most of the basic things out there, you can install them yourselves, like colder intakes, body kits, you know, front splitters, spoilers, wicker bills, like logos, emblems, whatever. Um, a lot of internal stuff as well for the motor, but as far as that goes, like I didn't do a cam, I didn't do my own cam install, I didn't do my own drop-in piston install. I'm sorry, I just, I'm not a licensed mechanic that knows those things and I'm just I'm not gonna do it maybe I'll get an old car one day and I'll start experimenting and learning how to do that stuff I'd love to do that maybe that's maybe that's what I should do I don't know what do you guys think but the ultimate goal of the channel is you know it started off as sledgehammer 70 which was just me talking and helping people if you guys don't know sledgehammer 70 is my online name for work it's like my persona for I, I work in the gaming space and you know, for my Twitter handle and stuff, people know me as Sledge or Sledgehammer70. Um, but then I wanted to kind of, I wanted to separate that from, my, I wanted to separate my work life to from what my hobby, my YouTube stuff that I've been doing and my car stuff. And so I went to Lethal Camaro because I have a Camaro and I just thought the name was cool, the Lethal Camaro. Everybody's like, what's so deadly about your car? I'm like, hopefully it's not deadly. But, um, and now I'm like, you know what? I don't wanna just limit myself to Camaro because I love all American muscle. And in my instance, I, you know, I have always thought about getting a Challenger or a Mustang. And I know that that may be sacrilege to some of you guys out there because you're diehard bow tie. And bow tie is my number one, it's my go-to. So don't ever feel like I'm belittling the bow tie at all because I, I love my Camaro, this is my, this is my magna opus, <laughs> or whatever. But I would like to start creating guides and maybe help other people out, um, and also be able to compare the differences. Like how awesome would it be to actually sit in a fully upgraded Camaro and a fully upgraded Mustang, and be able to speak to the differences of which one's better and which one's worse, or what are some of the problems that you run into, or be able to do that with a Challenger. Um, yeah, I just, I think something like that would be really cool and it's something I really want to do. And so if I can actually pull it off and do it, I think I'm going to. So as of right now, YouTube has been going really well for me and uh, I'm, I'm open and honest about this. And over the last couple months, the, the money earned on YouTube side has actually gone up. Now keep in mind that money I get paid is untaxed. I have to pay taxes on that, but I'm at the point now where I can pay the taxes off. Um, I actually got a cell phone for the Lethal Camaro channel, so I pay for that bill. And then I'm at the point now where I can afford a, a car payment within reason. I can't go afford a $1,000 car payment, but you know I can go get a $500 car payment and afford the insurance and have the channel pay for that. Um, now, that's right now. So right now what I'm doing is I'm making sure the channel can keep that going because if it can't, I can't screw myself. I can't be like, oh honey, YouTube didn't make money this month. I, I We need to pay for out of savings or whatever. I don't wanna to get to that point because this is a hobby for me and I I love doing it, but I can't, I can't pull money from my personal life to pay 
for this. And it, there's a million reasons why I got four kids. We're trying to save for a house, like a real nice house. We owned a house long ago, but we lost it in the recession because our second loan ballooned on us. But I want to get another car and drive that for the channel. So whether it's a Mustang, whether it's a Challenger, a Charger, maybe a truck, maybe it's an older vehicle. Um, I'm not I'm not quite sure what it is, but you know I wanted to talk through some of the some of the thinking out there. So you know one thing that I would like to do is get the newest version of whatever car is out. So obviously Camaro is not coming out with a new body style or changes for a while. Yes, we have a refresh coming, but it's still basically going to be the same car with just you know different stylistic changes to the front end and the rear. Um, as far as the other opportunities there are, Mustang has a refresh body style coming, but it's still a new platform. Uh, it's, it's only been a couple years, but it's still a new platform. So a Mustang could be a good way to go because it's still a new car. Hopefully it's got more power, all that stuff. Or I can go the route of a Challenger or Charger, which really haven't been changed for a very long time. And there's no real rumors around when a new body style or upgrades will be coming. I'm hoping it will be soon based upon how many cars are sitting on the lots these days. And uh, I mean, you could still get, you could pick up a 2016 Hellcat. I saw a brand new 16 Hellcat sitting at a Dodge dealer for $41,000. 700 plus horsepower car, 41 grand. Yeah, just sitting on a lot. So what, what if I went down that road? I don't know. So there's lots of different ways I can go and the thought process again is the newest one because that's when all the new parts and all the new stuff come out right and that gives me the opportunity to do reviews and overviews and install guides and all that stuff that you know potentially other people haven't done um, and I know my channel is I have a lot of Camaro followers here I mean that's I would hope I drive a Camaro um, but there's also a ton of you guys here that don't drive Camaros, you drive BMWs, you drive Mustangs, you drive Challengers and Chargers. And uh, I would like to start catering to that while also still catering to Camaro. So I don't know, we'll see where it goes. I'm thinking of maybe just not stirring the hornet's nest and making people mad at me and maybe just getting a truck because um, there's a million and a half things I can use a truck for. But uh, we'll see, ooh, hey, nice. Uh, 6th gen, I think this is a brand new 1LE. Yeah, this thing is brand new. <clears throat> but, yeah, I'm at Cunningham Motorsports this morning just doing a quick uh, stop by to check something out, but I don't know, that's kind of my thought process right now. So I'm looking at potentially getting a new car. If you guys know anybody in the dealer world of Mustang and Dodge and stuff like that that can get a good deal or would be willing to offer a good deal on a car, I'm always looking to see what's available, what the cost options are to spec something out that I would want. Unfortunately, the 2018 Mustang got really expensive, especially for the, the kind of build I would want to do because I would almost, if you guys, like, I want the highest end vehicle to then be able to upgrade, um, like, the, I would want the GT, like, performance pack uh, car and then go from there and make it as good if not better maybe not better looking it will still look like a, a GT but as good as a GT 350 um, performance wise and that's not very hard to do with those cars but the other side of it is if I got a ch if I got a Challenger I would want a Challenger that could be on a, a Hellcat level but if I can get a Hellcat I don't think I would try to build that to be a demon slayer because a demon is just in a whole other category of car that I, I don't know if I would want to mess with but I could easily get a Hellcat and come down to Cunningham Motorsports and literally spend five grand and get 200 more horsepower um, you know it, it would literally be par to par with a demon now the problem with those cars is they're just very heavy um, and you know you can overcome that with a lot just a crap ton more power which Dodge has done but I don't know. I just, I haven't decided. And then there's the the new Silverados coming out in 2019. Maybe I wait a year, get a nice brand new truck and start doing truck stuff. I don't know. So I'm up in the air. I, I mean, I'm even thinking about maybe doing like a second gen build or a first gen build. Not 100% sold on it yet, but that is kind of the idea right now and we'll see where it goes. So 
Um, until I figure that out, we'll see. And I got a whole bunch of people staring at my car right now. But um, yeah, until until next time, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, what car do you think I should get? What would you like to see me get? What would you like to see me do? Is there anything else left to my car you'd like to see me do? Uh, maybe a stall converter or a new converter, maybe new ba gears in the back end. I don't know. There's so many things that I could do. But, yep, I'm going to wrap it at that. But uh, thanks for checking out the video. If you enjoyed the content, smash that subscribe button. If you don't, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. But until next time and next conversation, hope to see you on the road.